since March 2020, various countries across the world have commenced lockdown, leaving their citizens to fend for themselves. For the first time ever, we've been authorised to take the cameras inside. To show you, the viewer, how it feels to be on Isolation Street. Coming up in this episode, Ian has the biggest decision of his life in this particular day, in this particular time. This is without doubt the hardest decision of my life at this particular day, in this particular time. The decision of whether he has tea or whether he has coffee. Tea or coffee, coffee or tea. Oh my God. He starts to think, maybe if he can remember what he had last time, which was approximately 60 minutes ago. What did I have last time? It was only an hour ago. Previously, on part one, Ian realised he had to make the decision between having tea or coffee. <laughs> the irony is that I'm quite partial to both tea and coffee. Coffee <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> partial to both. Wouldn't, you couldn't like this stuff. Day two. A beautiful spring morning out and about. Unfortunately, being a member of Isolation Street, you don't get to see any of this. We decided to visit Ian first thing in the morning with our film crew, so we can show you, the viewer, how his daily routine starts. So Ian, I understand you have come up with a technique to reduce how much toilet paper you use. Can you share that with us? Yes, um, yeah, obviously with the, the sort of hamster shoppers, I've had to find a way of reducing my toilet paper. So I split the three ply down to one ply and I'm limited to four sheets per session. I didn't know you were going to be filming this early in the morning. And do you find that it's still hygienic enough? Hygiene, yeah, yeah. I've not had any problems with it. It's, um, it seems to work all right. I mean, it's not the sort of thing I really want to talk about, but um, yeah, as long as as long as you remember, you know, keep yourself clean, wash your hands, and all that. But um, yeah, I've not had a problem with it at all. In part two. We saw how Ian has coped practically. Coming up in part three, we ask Ian a personal question, and it is clear that the emotion of being isolated is hitting home. I notice you have a wedding ring on. Is there a Mrs. Ian? A Mrs. Ian? Yes, th yes there is a Mrs. Ian. Um, unfortunately, Susanna, Mrs. Ian, uh, she went to McDonald's for us to fetch us a, a carry-out as such. <coughs> and that was three weeks ago now. And unfortunately the day she went was the day that the country decided that lockdown is go. They basically, wherever you were, you were locked in and you were refused to allow to, to leave. And it's been three long weeks. But yeah, thank you. McDonald's for three weeks. How do you feel about that? Oh, sorry, sorry. Three long weeks without eating some fries. I mean, I can live without Big Mac, but it's the fries. I could do with some fries. You can't, you can't make fries.
Unfortunately, from this moment on in the film, our film crews were forbidden to travel. The only thing we could do was leave Ian with a camera on his own for a week. Here's what happened. No.